Meanwhile, as we enter now day four of the Summer Games in Rio, Team USA uh, still looking awfully good. Let's take a look at the medal count for videographic proof. Uh, 19 overall medals have been earned, five via victory, which leaves the United States tied with China and that all important category. You can see there China with 13 overall, uh, trailed by Japan, Russia, and Italy. I would read more for you at home, but I think you can probably handle it all. Thankfully, I've got Dana Jacobson here of CBS Sports Network to recap uh, the day that we uh, just saw Do yesterday. Do you not believe in silver and bronze? Is this what I'm saying? I believe in them. Second I believe and third in them. doesn't count? I believe in them. And I am, I'm all for participation trophies for children. I'm not. I'm not. But I just, you don't <laughs> win a silver. You, I'm okay winning a silver. I'm not good for participation trophies. You didn't trophies. win a silver medal. You, you, you did. You, you were awarded You were better one. than the third place right. finisher in the fourth. But you didn't win anything. You, you still just won finished it. second. You still, you still. You were better than the others in that sense. You <laughs> You're won hijacking that your own segment. I know. Right I know. Now. The participation There's, medal. We're going to have a whole other. That's not okay. Why? Not, why? Because there is something that's okay with learning how to win. These uh, these competitors at the Olympics are proof if you can set that sort but of I, fire but within. But young athletes have it inside. I don't. They don't if, need a medal really to say so it's okay to my, participate. The five year old doesn't need a. But, but a no, but a, five year old doesn't. A, did you get one? Did to. you get one at five? I did. I think you got I did. a participation medal. I don't, know. I don't medal? remember. I did. It's okay. So what? We're all soft. I did in soccer. We're all though. soft. Yeah. But then the elite athletes yes. should be told they won a silver yes. medal yes. when they didn't win the event. They won that silver medal over the bronze medal. You see and the inconsistency else. here, right? I do you see do. a little bit of it, but not really, because it's participation. Well, you know who'll be happy to know <laughs> that she won a silver medal then? Yulia Efimova last night of yeah. the Russian Federation. I don't think she's happy about it. I don't though. think she's happy about anything, but I think Lily King awfully happy yeah, about it. Yeah, so Lily happened. King, the U.S. athlete that won the gold, we can agree upon that. That's the 100 meter backstroke, but there was a lot surrounding this yeah. because of the Russian doping scandal. And Yufimova had been caught up in it before just in the past few days was actually allowed to compete. And people may have seen this moment where she sort of was doing the finger wag with Lily King. And obviously Lily King got the last word and the last laugh because she went on to win. And she's been outspoken about the idea that she does not think that these competitors who have been banned before for steroids should be competing. And she even said it about the U.S. members. Which is really going to be interesting. Yeah. Uh, as uh, Justin Gatlin and Tyson Gay, two yeah. American sprinters with doping histories. Right. And to her credit, she said no, they don't yeah. belong here either. And you know, I talked to a few former swimmers from the U.S. Olympic team, Summer Sanders, uh, about this. She was one of them, and she was very outspoken with uh, this same idea that, you know, this is really cheating and sort of wondering, has it been clean? Michael Phelps yeah. raised this question about, have I ever swam swam in a clean sport? And, and Summer sort of had a similar belief that this is something that they all talk about, that these athletes who have been banned, how many chances do you get? And should you even get a second chance, forget a third chance that yeah. some of them may be getting? You know, we've seen uh, Michael Phelps already do what he's done here at, at these games, his fifth overall. But uh, we saw last night with Lily King and Ryan Murphy. Yeah. The future of American swimming is awfully bright. It, well, it always is. And this yeah. was a six straight gold in the 100 meter backstroke for yeah. the men for Ryan Murphy. He had this great post on Twitter and hopefully people saw we, it. I, so like stretch a little bit. Yeah, so that we it can was an get image that he from, from childhood, actually, that he had they put out there Here so that is. people could that. see it. Yeah. Oh, the letter reads, I hope my swimming life continues and I become an Olympian when I grow up. I hope I will break world records. Records, I want to be the best swimmer in the world. The, the end. end. <laughs> That's true. Well, yesterday he was the best swimmer in that event. I don't. Michael Phelps may challenge him for the world right now, but there's time. Yeah, you know, listen, again, <laughs> as you mentioned, uh, future uh, awfully bright. Future awfully bright uh, for the American women uh, in gymnastics. They look to continue their uh, dominance. The men. They're Not, participating. Yeah, you know, the men did sort of what they did uh, last time around. They went out, they stumbled early, and it was too big of a hole. They were down in seventh, ended up finishing fifth mm -hmm. in the team competition, and they weren't able to bounce back enough. We've got the women tonight to finish off the team competition. They are so far ahead of everyone. Yeah. They truly would have to implode, which nobody believes will happen. One of the interesting things going into the game, somebody said you could split that U.S. team into two teams, and they would probably take gold and then settle for the silver. They wouldn't win silver, but well, they, would apparently they, would. they would settle. Apparently they would. That. But apparently the U.S. men, they won something because they only, they finished fifth and they no, didn't finish fifth last. is not winning. Fifth okay. is not winning. So what's last? I, just, I need to know. So it's last. What did they just show? No, you up? don't win. Top three, you medal. Your podium. If you're on that podium, you have won a medal. Well, that's just. 
ridiculous. Participation um, medal is not winning a medal. Usain Bolt. <laughs> yes. Um, he's won a lot. You know what? And look, there was a lot of concern about Usain Bolt. Uh, injuries might hamper his ability to even participate right. here. We are seeing it's it, there's that ineffable quality to Usain Bolt that goes far beyond his all-time athletic uh, talent, his boundless skill. Yeah. He lights the world up. And and he sort of... As we see Yeah, I was just going to say, he sort of yesterday did that thing that makes you love him. Let's have some fun yeah. with the dancers. He announced that this is going to be his last Olympics, and I think people will be sad to see him go for this very reason. It's somebody that you want to root for. He's the fastest man in the world. Um, we're going to touch briefly on the uh, on the basketball uh, they won. teams. Uh, the men won, the women won. <laughs> they won. The men yeah. crushed, the women, women crushed. Uh, it, it's one of those later. that you feel like unless it's close, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Seriously. One sort of, I guess, down but up note, we talked about Ibtihaj Muhammad yeah. yesterday. She lost in the round of 16, mm -hmm. so this is in the individual saber competition and fencing. Um, but she, she did recognize that she raised a lot of awareness, and that was a good thing. And they still have the team event coming up on Saturday. So a loss, I'm not going to say she won something, but there was a lot, um, I guess, raised and conversations that happened because of her being there. And something that she was very comfortable with, it, again, this was a remarkable climate, very particularly to be yeah. competing and wearing a hijab. Yeah, and, uh, and she the attention really, that went with yeah, it. Yeah, and she seemed to she seemed to embrace it. Yeah. She, she, she's understood that platform from the very beginning. Yeah, her family even, they talked about how many interviews they've done. This has been a story for several months. She was on the Ellen Show. She was at the White House. She had to do all of this media. It's not an excuse with it, but she knew that she was, there was sort of a bigger cause behind it. She said as much as she was disappointed in the loss, which any competitor would be, she was glad her sister was there for some perspective. She had her family there for her. And again, team competition on Saturday, you never know what may happen. We should also note uh, the home country, off the schneid. Yes, they won their first medal. Yay, Rio. Rafaela Silva <laughs> in the women's uh, 57 kilogram judo competition. Yay, Brazil. Uh, yay, Brazil. All right, so let's look ahead uh, to today. Again, we mentioned uh, Team USA uh, women, the Fierce Five right. will be thus. Interesting, this is going to be a couple uh, couple interesting ones in the pool. Michael Phelps, first of all, uh, up against Chad LaClosse, his uh, one it's of a, his it's nemesis. A huge, it's a rivalry, it's and, and this is what you have to love about Phelps, and if people saw the video, if you saw the shot, of Phelps in the death stare that we saw in the semis yes. yesterday. He is so laser focused and this is truly a rival for him. So I would say it's the like don't poke a sleeping lion, yep. sleeping bear, whichever you want. I don't think he's sleeping, don't, but, don't but he's poke, been poked. Don't poke a sleeping Phelps. But, right, he's been poked. <laughs> yeah. So watch out for him tonight. And then Katie Ledecky uh -huh. also will be back in the pool going for her third medal. And we talked about her yesterday. I mean, what what else do we need to see from her? We know her greatness, and now she's really writing that legacy that many expected. Phelps is somebody who knows how difficult that can be when the expectation is there for you to go out and actually perform. That's the tough part. It's a remarkable thing to see, again, as uh, Team USA has really, again, the swimming events allow a nation to really take a stranglehold of the games. Yeah. And thus far, it seems everything at the pool coming yeah, up roses. I saw one, one of the, I believe one of the semis, one of the heats yesterday, and I can't remember who the U.S. swimmer was, one of the women who finished last in her heat and what a disappointment it was. And they were talking about how this is a learning opportunity too. And that sometimes you really do go out there and have a bad swim. That can happen. You still have a better event. I think that was in free and her next stroke is back or it may have been reversed. I'm, I'm forgetting now, but it was sort of that lesson that we win a lot in swimming and we have to remember we don't always win. But you know what? In, in the world of Dana Jacobson, no, you do. No, not true. You always win. You win gold, everybody wins. silver, and everybody bronze. Wins. Your world, everybody, everybody wins. wins. Your you're, world, you get a participation medal. If you walked medal. into the stadium wearing you white get a capris, participation you medal. are a winner. Who's in favor of participation medals? Raise their hand. Who's in favor of, of acknowledging a young kid's grit and gumption and ability to focus at practice once a week instead of like chasing bees and you, just, you know four leaf you, clovers. You are, but that's not winning. That's amazing. That's not All winning. Right. I hope to win. Say nice job, Johnny. I, I hope to win many nice medals job, one Susie. day that didn't in fact involve victory. <laughs> can you can you see that this is a sticking point? Yeah. Dana Jacobson, <laughs> as always, we mostly a pleasure. appreciate it. A yes, pleasure. Yes, thank you.